So you mentioned a lot about converting the users from Web 2 to Web 3, as well as your own understanding about what is permissionless. And then do you want to talk about what's the fundamental difference between Web 2 and Web 3? Sure. Um, I think there's a good comparison um, that Web 1 is to read, and Web 2 is to read and write. And then Web3 is to own your <clears throat> digital contents. I, I think that is, a, that is a broad definition of Web3, right? So we do want to take, a, take control of our data, right, our contents, um, and for both like builders and content creators. I like NFT personally. Uh, I was also featured um, on New York Times and Wall Street Journal on my NFT collections. One thing that I really like about NFTs uh, actually not from the headline, not from like the monetization of it, is really to enable more and more creators to monetize, to get, to you know, monetize to their followers of their contents, right? So think about how many users are using Instagram, using TikTok. There are hundreds of millions of people, right? But how many artists are there, digital artists that can really, you know, sell at, at you know, at auction houses? There are, there are probably just you know, tens of thousands of artists. So there's a huge gap between content creators and artists mm -hmm. who can really monetize. The most you can get from Instagram and from TikTok are just likes, right? Or some traffic. So that's how like, all these content creators are doing these advertisements, you know, are, are, are partner, partnering with all these um, merchantile, right? So, so that's, I don't think it's a very healthy uh, you know, um, environment for all these content creators. They can be given the freedom to express their own views, you know, work on something that really, that really interests to them, and also work on something that their followers would like to see as well. Mm. And then I like the way, I like, you know, uh, there, there's a saying that you only need, you know, a thousand true fans, right? So that a thousand true fans can take you a long way because if they are willing to pay for your work, you know, pay for your contents, and that's exactly what we've, you know, what we are seeing at the industry uh, of the NFT industry. Um, so it's also a way to kind of dis um, differentiate, you know, the normal followers with the paying followers, mm. right? So a lot of these contents, if they can monetize, they can. They don't need to monetize with very high price tag, right? You can always have multiple editions, and then you don't need. You don't necessarily need a lot of hype to sell your contents. I think we are still early on that part, as it become more and more normal for content creators to monetize, to make a living out of the, your own contents, and I think the content, the quality of the contents can also be improved because, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's more direct versus doing the advertisements. So to summarize, uh, the key point you just mentioned about the difference between Web 2 and Web 3 is the content ownership, which Web 3 empowers the creators or the users to have more of a cut or the copyrights for, for the content and they can monetize their content better. Exactly, because like current, the current business model for all these big tech is broken. Mm -hmm. Because they get the users, right? They get the content creators. They direct the traffic, you know, with algorithms that are not open source, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of people need to fight against censorship. A lot of the content creators need to kind of optimize themselves to cater with the algorithms. Who there's any like there like nobody knows what's the algorithms. Mm. It's not open sourced. Yep. And then as users, we contribute our data, however we get nothing in return, right? So all these things converted into the big tax advertisement revenue is always the biggest chunk of their income, right? However, all these data, all these contents, all these traffic is contributed by every one of us, right? So for Web3, I think um, some major milestone will be safeguarding your own digital assets, safeguarding your own contents, monetize your own data, and essentially be more, be more open source on the algorithms itself. Mm.
Yeah, I mean, I totally agree with you because I also have been in the NFT space for a while. Uh, and what you talked about, the creator's economy, um, it's, it's a truth in the traditional world. And only, I would say, 99% of all the creators, either in the filming industry or the music industry, they wouldn't get paid for whatever they're creating. But for NFT, it actually empowers them to getting paid. And uh, it, it actually flattened out the, the curve a bit, meaning it's not that steep anymore. So it will, and it also enables the creators to get a more fairer payout throughout the content creation process. And I've also seen like creator style or different protocols that try to help them to smooth out the process. So I'm definitely ex excited about this part. Um, but, I, but I do think there's really a long way to go.